the first Subudi. Let me explain the first Subudi. All of the Aiki Kumitachi start with the sword held at the center level in a horizontal position in order to execute a decisive movement. The first Subudi represents an important exercise for learning the decisive movement in sword practices. Thus, we stop the sword in the decisive position in the first Subudi. Next, the second Subudi. The hips are engaged fully to finish in the Hami position in the second Subudi in such a way so as to avoid an Ai Uchi or mutual kill situation with the sword. This is a characteristic of Aikido. If our hips were left in a straightforward position, this would result in a mutual kill situation with the sword. This distinction can be seen in photographs of the founder using the sword. I will now show the third Subudi. Let me explain the use of the third Subudi. It is used in the Kumitachi and Kimusubi no Tachi. At this point, the founder explained that we should perform this movement with a feeling of assimilating ourselves into the universe by inhaling universal ki through the tip of the sword, passing through the nose, and arriving at the Seika Tanden. Here, we do not raise our shoulders or the sword, but rather lower the hips and relax the shoulders. We exhale forcefully, striking directly over the head. This is an incorrect Ken movement. Come straight over the head, and taking a large step forward, cut downward. I will now explain the fourth Subudi. Let me explain. In Aikido, we make no distinction between right and left. Whether we are in the right or left hami, we practice using the sword so that it and the body function as a single unit. This was the fourth Subudi. Now the fifth Subudi. Subudi is the movement most often used in the Kumitachi. From the right hami, we raise the sword from the right in such a way as to protect our bodies and strike downward, ending up in the left hami. From the left hami, we move the sword to the left, protecting our body, and then step forward with the right foot to strike, finishing in the right hami. We move our bodies fully to the right and left in the kumitachi.
In the Saburi, we practice adjusting our positions to the right and left hami as appropriate. I'll now explain the sixth Saburi. Here, we blend with a sword being raised and then thrust. It is one of the movements included in the Ki Musubi no Tachi exercise. We dodge the oncoming Shomenuchi attack to the right and immediately, when our opponent attempts to attack, we execute a thrust. This is the sixth Suburi. Now I'll explain the seventh Suburi. The seventh Suburi is used in the second and fourth kumitachi. In this movement, our strike is parried downward and we free the sword circularly and then counter with a thrust. When the enemy blocks or parries the sword downward, we always use this counter against his block or parry. This is used in the second and fourth kumitachi. I'll now do all seven suburi for you from a different angle. The first suburi. The second suburi. the fourth Suburi. Sixth Suburi. The Seventh Suburi. <laughs> <laughs> 